Hello friends. So today we are going to learn about retry scope and how you can practically use it. Okay. So retry scope. Let me first explain you what it is. So let's have a look. So the very first thing you should do while learning any activity, have a look of that activity. So retry scope. Okay. So when you drag and drop this retry scope, it has got a action block and it has got a condition block. Okay. And the retry scope is generally used for catching and handling errors. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to give you a very simple example where we, we will see what kind of error is coming and how do you use a retry scope to fix that. So let's get started. Now, before we go through that example, there are few things I would request you to do. First of all, log into Acme in Internet Explorer, not in Google Chrome. Just for this demo, this works best on Internet Explorer. So open Acme website on your Internet Explorer browser. Okay, on your IE. All right. So once you open this, go to vendors and search for vendors. We need a vendor ID number. So I'm going to search for vendors and click on display all vendors and I'm going to copy one of the tax ID. Okay. So I'm just copying the tax ID. If not, you can directly make a note from my screen and use it. Then let me go back to the home screen. Okay. And here go to the report section. So this is very important for you to first learn how the retry scope works. So that's why we are going through this example just to demonstrate. So if you go to reports and click on download monthly report, Okay, and here I need that ID. So I'll go to my notepad and copy that ID. Okay, you can you can directly come to come to this page and enter the vendor tax ID for learning purpose. Okay, now for the month, um, let me select let's say December and select 2020. I tried for 2021. I am not able to download a report. So go with this December in 2020. Now, when you click on download report, what happens? You will find there is a pop up which is coming. And if you click on save us, a file will get downloaded to your system. Okay. That's all we need. And we are going to use the retry scope here. Okay. So this is your pre requisite. So you are opening your Internet Explorer. You have opened it and kept everything ready. So now what I'm going to do, I will go to your path studio and I'm going to my goal is to download the report okay so my goal is to download the report and use retry scope so this is my goal so how do i achieve this let's see so download the report to download the report the first activity that i'll use a click activity and i'm going to click on indicate on screen and I am going to hit on the download report, right? This is where I have to. Okay. So I clicked on download report. Done. All right. So this is done download report. Now, once you download, what happens on the Internet Explorer? You see there is a pop up window which is coming and it is telling you, would you like to click on and save it somewhere, right? It is asking you. So I have an option to save as to a specific location. So I want to save us. Okay. I want to click on save us. So while doing this, so what, how you do this again, you will use a click activity. Just follow this example just to understand and click on indicate on screen. And I'm going to click on this drop down. Do you see I've highlighted? I want to click on this drop down using another click activity. So two click act activities done. Now, once this is done, so once you click on it, what happens? This pop up window comes save, save us and save option. And I want to use save us. So again, what I will be doing generally, I'll use another click activity. Okay. And click on indicate on screen. So it will automatically take me to this screen and here hit on key F2, your function key 2. Okay. F2 hit on the function key 2. It will give you a little time. Then click on it and wait for it. Okay. So now I'm keeping my mouse to save us and I have highlighted this. So by this, I'm again using a click activity to click on the save us. Okay. So this is what happens. So now what would happen? Let's say if I simply run this, these are the three activities. 
click download report click on this drop down click on save so these are the three activities i want to perform let's say and let me save this and let me run this so the moment i run this okay and click on the alt tab to go back to you know keep your internet explorer page in the front so what would happen you can see download report has been clicked and then this has been clicked okay but immediately after it clicks there what is happening you can see there is an error which is coming in click drop down button click generic error some error has come i mean the moment it's trying to click there was some error so let me hit on continue okay so click on continue so this is in the debugging mode okay so that's why it is asking me to continue so now what happened there is an error click drop down button so it is not able to find uh, element uh, it is not able to find that specific element okay if you want to see this error in detail you can use this window on the left hand side okay so let me go to the output so what is happening um click generic error it's not able to find the element and it is not able to click on that drop down menu right click generic error so click activity did not function so in such places i mean you can think of so many websites where you would do a um, project using ui path right many areas where you will find everything is fine just that it is not able to click so generally what you will do you will give a delay activity you will try something else right you put a delay activity and try to give little more time so that ui path can detect it so okay that is also one of the way but the best way for you is to go for a retry scope so where this error is coming from this particular button right the drop down menu is not working so what i will do i will use a retry scope so is it making sense when you are using this activity any activity which is quite evident that it should go and click but sometimes it is not able to do it do it so many websites you will find you no know, ui path not able to find that element and it needs little more time because of that the error is thrown so in such cases what you do you generally go for a delay activity but delay is not always correct right delay will not always help you because sometimes the delay you had given you know don't know maybe next time it uh, might take even more time so there is this is that is not the accurate way of working so the best thing is to go for a retry scope right so in such case i am going to put this activity where it has to click on that drop down menu inside the action block of the retry scope getting it so what i did just i have dragged and dropped it inside this retry scope now highlight the retry scope there are two things number of retries let's say i want to give some five retries or three retries or two retries whatever your numbers so you select that and retry interval so first retry should happen after 2 seconds or after 4 seconds so whatever you think is the right so i'll give only 2 seconds okay so like that it will do five retries so by the fifth time the element should exist and it should be able to click right the problem why it is not uh, not able to click it it was throwing an error even though the element was there but ui path was not able to probably detect that element and it's not able to click on it so it requires little more time or one more retry it wants one more retry so this retry scope gives you that capability okay so when it should so it will retry for five times but when this retry clicking on that item should stop it should stop when when if it clicks then the next window comes is this right when this window comes then it should stop isn't it so again you have to use a element exist activity okay so if that new element appears on the screen then it should stop that is the meaning so i'm going to use a element exist activity click on indicate on screen and hit on the function to or f2 key to get little more time and i am going to manually click on this so this screen has come right so what i will do i will select this so i am saying the moment this window you see don't retry so you click on this but the moment you see the save as window has come then you stop retrying don't retry i mean we achieved what we need so after this section it will go to the next button where i am saying click on save as so it is going to do that so this is just a condition it is not going to click anywhere this is just a condition where i am using a element exist activity clear so if i do this i it should be able to i think this time this should not be no error so before we run 
close this window close it keep it as it was in the background go to your yapa studio and start running it so you can use the debug option or the run so let me use the run option okay now you can see it's supposed to download hit on the download okay done now in the first attempt in the first attempt it's not able to click you can see it is still waiting okay so it will go for the next attempt because we have encapsulated that activity inside the retry scope right so it's going to make a next attempt okay okay so it has made a next attempt and hit on save us okay so you can see how the retry scope could help you so instead of um, you know many projects we use a delay activity sometimes that is helpful but if you know about retry scope this activity can be well utilized inside your project and wherever you find the particular click option or anything you are trying to uh, work on a ui element and it's not helping you or there's some problem happening so that's where the retry scope becomes very very helpful okay so in such example you can see if somebody clicks on this this window should come so this becomes a condition for me if this window appears that means it has clicked if this window doesn't appear that means it is still not able to click so that's why i'm using a retry scope and this meets the criteria only then if it is able to click on it then only then the next set of my actions will execute okay i hope this example must have given you a clear cut idea as to how to use a retry scope okay so this uh, this should be very clear now as to how retry scope works and how it is helping you to handle these kind of errors in your project so thank you in case this video is helping you please do hit on the like button and if you are a new visitor please do visit our channel home page go to the playlist and we have got ample of videos for you to learn ui path you know quick time thank you guys please do subscribe to the channel please do share with your friends please let them know about our channel thank you very much for all your support you guys have a great day bye bye